All right, we're recording, we are live, and we are having another beautiful Mentorship Masters Roundtable Meetup. You know, this is, today I get to talk about my absolute favorite topic, and that is agent attraction, okay? Agent attraction. Now, the way that I do these meetups, just so you guys know, especially for those of you that are new uh, to, to these meetups that we have here with me, um, I, I like to do most of them around um, production, okay? So we, this year, we've committed to study from this book right here, uh, Success with Listings, and I'm going through methodically my system of uh, how I took over 100 listings a year, did that for more than 10 years in a row. There's a very, very succinct method to it, and it's super duper easy, okay? So um, if you're having struggle, if you're having uh, difficulty, okay, then um, you're probably not following the manual, okay? Uh, this is, it's a very, 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 and there's a lot of psychology behind it. Um, a lot of times people are very mechanical. It's like dancing, right? You know, you can get up there and make the moves, but it may not quite look um, the way it should because you, don't, you, you're, you really ha don't have the groove, you don't have the feel behind it. Um, and a lot of people get out here and they try to use the scripts and say the same stuff, but it's very mechanical. So you have to understand the psychology behind what you do as well. Um, so that's one is uh, production. Uh, the second thing I like to do is get you guys into uh, the right mindset. You know, our book of the month this past month is uh, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. Uh, actually, we spent the last couple of months reading this. So hopefully you've already read it. Um, we've got a new book of the month that I'll share with you. So we're talking about mindset and then uh, specific activities that you do to, to gain success. And then the third thing that I like to talk about is agent attraction. Now, I only talk about agent attraction once a month because I know that it's not, <laughs> it's not on the hot list of, of most of you guys. But even if it's not, you should be attracting. You know, EXP has such a phenomenal um, mo system and model for you being able to bring agents in, especially the fact that you've got uh, mentorship masters, our group, the Nali team, especially the fact that you've got this. Um, it's unlike anything else. Uh, there's very few groups at EXP that have this, and um, we should be bringing more people here. I mean, because they're going to benefit by being here. So I've got an agenda. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the book of the month for this upcoming month. And that's this one right here, Letting Go, Letting Go. Okay, so I know we, this was a book of the month for us last year, those of you that were with me last year. Um, but those of you that are new, this is an absolute, if you haven't read this book, this is our first book of the month. Remember, you can find all the books of the month in the Mentorship Masters portal um, under the book of the month tab. Okay, so the power of your subconscious mind, Joseph Murphy, that was the last one. And then now we're getting into this bad boy right here. And I might give you a couple of months to read this. This is a, this is a pretty deep read. Um, this is really for the emotional body. Remember, you have four bodies. You have a physical body, an emotional body, a mental body, and a spiritual body. So this book is for the emotional body. Okay, this book is for the mental body. All right. So um, I've got other books for the physical body. In fact, I pulled out one today. Let me see. I don't have it handy, um, but you'll, you'll get a kick out of that. What's called a colon health. But that's for another time. We, we won't, um, I read one or two books a week, so I'm a book junkie. But this one right here, Artemis Kassain, my coach, turned me on to this a few years ago. Uh, it's called Letting Go, The Pathway of Surrender. And it will absolutely change your life. So this is also available on Audible. That's our book of the month. I'm going to show you how to get to our books of the month too here in a minute. Um, I want to welcome our new members. Let me let me go here because man, we are we, we're rocking, guys. We've got. Um, uh, I'm going to pull this up. I know you guys can't see my screen, but I just want to pull up because I want to. We talked about all the new members that we got in. Um, last week and then we've got a few more so i want to i want to acknowledge them real quick uh, let me see here yeah we've had we've we've got 16 new members that have joined us in the last 30 days that's super exciting 
So our last, our, the members that have just joined this past week, we've got um, Alicia Stooks. She just joined us today. She's out of Maryland. Um, we've got Yendra Kamal, and she's right here in Texas. She's uh, in Austin. She's actually a broker. She's been a broker for over 30 years. Uh, well, not maybe a broker, but she's been a realtor for over 30 years. She's a broker here in Austin, and she's happy to hang out with us right here at eXp. Super, super duper, uh, lots of experience. She speaks uh, English, Arabic, maybe some other languages as well. We've got Steve, uh, Steve Wynn, if I'm saying that right, uh, who Rebecca Wooten brought in. And then, of course, we got Rebecca Wooten, who I've been working on bringing over here um, for a long time, for almost a year, actually. And she's just joined us this, fall, this past week. Uh, we've got Lillian um, uh, Arredondo, Lillian Arredondo. Uh, and I, I call her Liliana, but Lillian, uh, I've known Lillian for some time. Um, and uh, she was brought in by Artemis, Artemis Kassane. So thank you, Artemis, for bringing Lillian on board. Um, and uh, let's see, we got uh, Nick brought in Aaron Wang, and then Josie brought in Aaron Jackson. So those are the new ones that we, we have. Um, we've got several others that have come on. Um, so be sure to watch last week's video where I announced those. So I, uh, and Aaron Jackson, I've known him since he was 12 years old. Uh, so he, he's, he's, he's promising to come and light it up for us over here. So let me get back where I can see myself. Okay. So, so those are our new members. Welcome. Welcome new members. You're going to have a lot of fun hanging out. Uh, you're part of the family now. So thank you for being here. Um, okay. We talked about our new book. I like to make little notes y'all, um, about what we're going to talk about. Just quick little notes. Oh, so another thing, another big announcement is, uh, around Patty Lynn. We haven't really gotten to announce this and Patty Lynn and I haven't really even officially figured out how to announce it. But Patty Lynn is actually going to be um, upgrading. She's going to become one of our success coaches for, um, you know, my, my coaching business. And so she's going to be doing, she's going to be opening herself up to be, a, to be doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with you guys. So she's going to, uh, she's gotten a promotion. She's going to be doing that. And I'm bringing Chris Capistrano, uh, who's on the call as well. And uh, Chris has been working with me for, I've known Patty Lynn for about 10 years, uh, maybe, maybe longer than that, maybe 11 years. And then Chris has been working for me for about um, uh, five years. Um, and he's worked in different capacities, different businesses that I own. So he's now going to be the administrator of Mentorship Masters, uh, while Patty Lynn uh, becomes a success coach and we're going to help to build her coaching career. By the way, if you want to be a coach and if you think you've got the stuff to be a coach, I'm going to show you, ah, you're going to love this, a brand new series. Patty Lynn, you don't even know about this yet, but I just launched a brand new series um, about how to become a success coach. It's called Success with Coaching. And I'm going to show you how to access that in a second. So, um, so uh, congratulations to Patty Lynn and congratulations to Chris. Uh, thank you guys so much for, for all that you do for us. Um, and thank you, Patty Lynn, for all that you've done for the Mentorship Masters. Um, you, you have been absolutely a gem. Uh, and, and I look forward to, to watching you really grow uh, in your one-on-one -on -one coaching practice and um, you know just, just here with us at Mentorship Masters. So thank you. Um, okay, we got that. Um, so, you know, I always like to do announcements before we get into the meat of this stuff. So I want to show you guys, I'm going to share my screen. Woo, I'm so excited. Okay, so um, this is actually what we're going to talk about today. But before we do that, I want to show you, um, I'm going to log into the Mentorship Masters portal. And if you don't know how to get here, um, this is absolutely an incredible resource uh, for you guys um, that I've created so that you'll succeed. Um, and in, the, uh, in this Mentorship Masters portal, you'll see all kinds of stuff. So those of you that are kind of new to this, we've got all of our roundtable meetups from last year. We've got every, every time that I do one of these roundtable meetups, um, I archive it here so that you'll have it. We've got a ton of master classes, everything, you know, agent attraction videos, lots of training there. Um, our book of the month, we talked about that. 
you can just click right on there and you can see what our book of the months are. Um, and then there's direct links to how you can get these books on Amazon or on Audible, et cetera. Okay. So there's a bunch. If you want to skip ahead, you can. Um, I've got share funnels. I've got tons and tons of resources here. But what I'm really excited about um, is, and by the way, I've got EXP tools and resources. Um, by the way, I know that uh, when you join, uh, uh, when you, hold on a second. Yeah, when you join, I know that it, it can be overwhelming. Okay, if you're new, those of you that are not new, you remember how it was when you joined EXP. It was absolutely overwhelming. Um, I was, I was, I, I, I did a video recently where I said, you know, our onboarding process used to be absolutely terrible. Now it's just bad. <laughs> it's upgraded from terrible to bad, right? Uh, I, there is coming a day, by the way, when our onboarding pop process at EXP is going to be phenomenal. I was just talking to Dave Kennard, the, the president here at EXP, uh, yesterday about some issues that we had um, getting Rebecca on. And, um, and he promised me that there's a whole new onboarding thing that we don't even know about yet. It's not even on the radar. Most people don't know about it, uh, but it's coming and it's gonna be phenomenal. So, um, so, so just stay tuned, you know, we're always improving here. Uh, oh, let me share, I stopped sharing. Okay, let me get back. Getting too excited, y'all. Okay, so there's a new training. A lot of you guys don't even, you're not taking advantage of what Uncle Nolly has given you here. This is, this is like, this is the kind of stuff I used to charge 25,000 a year for people that would coach with me in my inner circle. They would have access to stuff like this. So, and you're getting it just by being here. And if you're not taking advantage of it, shame on you. So, um, so here's what I came up with. Um, and it's going to be under, okay. So there's a tab at the very bottom called mentorship masters, celebrity agent training. Most people don't even know this tab is here. Um, the celebrity agent training is the kind of stuff that has earned me millions and millions and millions. And I got to keep saying, and millions of dollars. Okay. Millions of dollars in my career. It's the kind of stuff that I don't teach anywhere else. I don't teach it on YouTube or anywhere because it's very high level. Um, it, pro it may be too high level for you where you are right now, but I want you to know that it exists. Okay. So in here, uh, there's a training called success with seminars. Okay. Um, I believe that agents should be doing more seminars like the ones that I do. And this is a whole training series on, um, you know, transforming your fear, how to choose your topic, the four H's of human connection, equipment for success, how to pick your date, selecting a venue. It goes on and on, guys. If you want to start doing seminars like I've done and been very successful at, even if you're doing like home buyer seminars or any seminar where people are coming out, that training is for you. That's, that's a high power training. But the one that I just put out there yesterday is this one right here. It's called success with coaching. Okay. And Patty Lynn, this is the one that you need to get into because uh, I didn't mention it to you. We, I mean, it's just brand new, brand new. Just put it out there yesterday. Um, and if you notice I'm, I'm wearing the same shirt, you know, I get into these things where, uh, let's see if, the, if it pops up. Oh no, I'm wearing a different shirt. Okay. I'm not busted this time. <laughs> so this is called uh, uh, welcome. It's called success with coaching. Okay. So if you want to become a one-on-one -on -one coach, maybe you're not there yet, but um, I'm going to teach you how to do that. So how to set your financial goals, uh, your weekly time commitment, client goals, and your intake sheet, um, structuring the coaching calls, uh, the coaching contract, um, accepting payments, uh, generating clients, Etc. I mean, it, it, this is this is an amazing training. So, if you haven't gotten into the Mentorship Masters portal, um, you need to you need to be you need to check that out. I was talking to an agent just yesterday that was like, "Oh, I've never gotten into the portal," and I'm like, "Dude, this is like, I mean, if I had this when I first started in real estate, who you? Th what I'm here to do? Listen to me." I'm here to cut a five to seven year learning curve off of your trajectory. Okay. A lot of you guys woo, 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 going hundred miles an hour. ain't doing nothing. It's just like that, that uh, it's, it's just like that uh, cartoon where the guy's just running and running and running and you just pick him up by the head and his, his, his feet are still moving and his arms are still moving, but he ain't going nowhere. Okay. 
That's what I see a lot of you guys doing. Why? Because you're not following the Nolly system. When you follow the Nolly system, you hit the ground running, okay? And you're successful. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. I've done that before. If you want to uh, uh, cut a five to seven year learning curve off, then you need to be doing what I say. The other thing is that you should be um, lead generating around your personality profile. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. Lead generate around your personality profile. Um, if you're finding that lead generation is not fun, it means you're not lead generating around your profile, period. Because when I lead generate and I do it every single day from nine to 11, it is fun. I can't even wait. It's like when I get up in the morning, I can't wait to hit my lead generation bunker because I'm talking about I'm having fun. And what do I do? I just, I, I make videos. You know, I make a video every single day. So when I get into my lead generation bunker, the first thing I do is make a video for YouTube. First thing I do. Now, some of y'all don't want to do that. That means it's probably not in your wheelhouse. Don't, don't do it. You know, I very rarely pick up the phone and call anybody during my lead generation time. Okay. Um, I do other things that, see, this, there's a reason why we call it agent attraction. Okay. Every single one of you that are in this group were attracted to this group. We didn't hunt you down and try to recruit you. You were attracted. You saw something that you could benefit from. Okay. And that's the way you want to be with your clients. All right. I'm talking too much. I know we got to get into, uh, so that's the new coaches training guys. I mean, that's the, that training right there. I'm, I'm trying to tell you um, it, it's going to make some people millionaires when they go through it, watch it and implement it. And by the way, if you're wondering when you're going to be ready to become a coach, um, if you're already capping at EXP, then you're ready to become a coach. Um, if you're already like one guy said, you know, just stay one chapter ahead. If you're doing, you know, eight, 10 deals a year um, or 20 deals a year, you can be the coach for that guy or that gal that, that isn't doing that. Okay. Um, don't think that, that the best players make the best coaches because it's not always true. Okay. You don't have to be the best player in the game to be an incredible coach. So um, let's get into, uh, let me see, Christy. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Christy says she's almost finished all the training in the portal. Um, she wants to be a one-on-one -on -one coach. Okay. Uh, cool. 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 Um, yeah. She says she's having pro problems finding people at home. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, we're, we're going to do a, um, that's good, Christy. Let, let's, I'm going to address that. She's having some issues finding people at home. And a lot of you guys, um, you know, I generate, I, I lead generated from nine to 11 for 10 years in a row, did over a hundred deals a year. And I didn't care whether people were at home because I wasn't calling people. <laughs> I didn't use the phone. So, um, but that, that's a whole nother, you know, there, there's some of you are, are phone people and that you're going to care about that because you're, you're using the phone. Okay. Remember you got the book, triple my listings. If you've got, I don't have it right here in front of me. If you look and triple my listings, I've got 27 tactics in there and three of them have to do with picking up the phone. None of the others do. So um, if you're, if you're just not having good success on the phone, then you probably need to switch to a different strategy different tactic but that we'll, we'll cover that on another call because that's very important in fact i want to make a copy of this so i can so i can cover this because um, it's, it's real important for you guys to be um successful uh when you're doing lead generation i mean and to be consistent it's time on the task over time so i'm going to go back to sharing my screen because i promise to talk to you guys about traction and um, I don't want to get too off topic, which I tend to uh, do. So, all right, the Nolly team at EXP, baby, that's what it is. So I've got a new campaign, a new initiative that I'm just now unveiling today. <laughs> it's called Each One Reach One, okay? Each One Reach One. I want you to write that down because I want every single one of us in this group to be using this as our model. Each One Reach One. So the goal, one new recruit, one new agent that you bring into the team each quarter, okay? So it's not a big goal. I know some of you have come to me, man, Nolly, I'm going to bring in 10 this year. I'm going to bring in 20. I'm going to bring in 30, whatever your number is. That's cool. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm setting records at EXP with how many I'm bringing in. That's good if you want to do that. 
But what I'm saying is, in addition to all the stuff that you normally do in your real estate practice, each one, reach one. Each quarter, focus on bringing in one person, okay? And by the way, if we do that, we'll actually double our size every quarter, okay? So, so that's our new thing, each one, reach one. I want you guys to, to uh, commit to doing that. Um, if you're in, say I'm in. You don't have to say it audibly, but just give me an I'm in, and I know you're in. If you can commit one person, um, each one of us should, should know one person or, or come in contact with one person um, that needs to have this kind of excellent training, okay? So uh, I want you to be in on this, guys. Each one, reach one. Um, now, who? some of our leaders, let's talk about it. So these are our each one, reach one leaders. Uh, coming into Q1 2020, we already got Charles Lee. He's got his. Josie Williams has hers. Artemis kassane has got his. Christy DeWolf, woo, what's up? She's got hers. Bailey Pippinger has uh, hers. Nick Sirichu. Chin? <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Uh, he's got his. Rebecca Wooten has hers, and Melody Dutton uh, has hers. So each one, reach one, baby. That's our Q1 2020 leaders. Uh, I'm going to update these stats um, periodically. And so I appreciate you guys for for being part of uh, you know the leadership here for our each one, reach one. So um, the quarter ends March 31 or March is it March 30th or 31st? One of those. So you still have enough, enough time to go get your one. And we'll talk about how to get that one. Um, the other thing I want to remind you guys to be doing, if you're not doing this already, is to do the two. Do the two, okay? Um, this is so important. If you don't do anything else that I teach, you've got to do the two. That's two hours of lead generation every single day from 9 to 11, Monday through Thursday, okay? And then on Friday, we do the two for agent attraction. We spend that, those two hours uh, generating, lead generating agents, okay? Um, listing agents instead of listing homes. So that's um, what I wanted to share on that. We've got a couple. All right, Patty Lynn says, thank you. Um, Heather Green says, I'm in. All right, Heather. Um, and Charles is like, only one? <laughs> I know Charles is working on his second one. Charles is on fire right now. Um, that His second one should be... Uh, any moment now. Aaron Jackson says he's in. Christy's in. Sonia's in. Okay. Patty Lynn's in. All right. So we're in, guys. Each one, reach one. I love it. Um, okay. So let's talk about how do we do this, this agent attraction. And what I really want to do, you know, I've got a lot of videos around agent attraction. I just did an incredible one. If you haven't seen it already, it's centered around this particular handout right here. Um, it's called the lead, Seven Legion Strategies for Agent Attraction 40 and 12. Okay, it's a lot of people were wondering, how did I get 40 uh, agents over here? It, it took me eight and a half months and uh, had over 60 in 13 months. And so I spilled the beans. I, I did. Okay, I, I'm guilty. I spilled the beans. I put it out there um, and I put, a, put together like a 30 some minute video. Um, and and you, if you haven't seen that training, you need to watch it because it also comes with this two page handout um, and it also comes with a share funnel that you can just go grab uh, the funnel. Um, and if you go to, the way to, the way to watch it is you go to nolly.com slash 40, okay? Let me, just, let me just show you that real quick. If you go to, um, here, let me get out of here. If you go to nolly.com .com slash 40, It'll take you right to the training that is how to attract 40 agents to EXP in the next 12 months. Okay. Now, a lot of people think that's ridiculous, but I did it. And so it's, it's, it can be done. <laughs> so, um, it, you know, it's, it's like the four minute mile. It, it, it was done. Okay. So it can be done. Uh, but you, that may not be your goal. You might say, man, I want to get 10 this year. I want to get five. Okay. That's up to you whatever your goal is. So I want to just have an open discussion about agent attraction. Uh, um, I don't necessarily really have a handout around this because I, I think if you go to that training, uh, don't start watching it now. <laughs> uh, uh, but if you go to that training, I feel like you'll, you'll get a lot of the stuff, the, the nuts and bolts of it. Um, but I just wanted to have this kind of an open discussion. So number one, just some basic principles. Number one, 
you should be thinking about attracting. Okay, so even if when you came here, most of you, when you came to EXP, it was not for agent attraction, it was for production. You want to become more production, productive, and we have to have productive agents. Okay, I capped last year, even though I don't even consider myself a producing agent, and I capped. Okay, and, and it's, not, it's not that I'm doing it, um, I mean, it's just, I, I, I love doing stuff. So, I mean, somebody comes and tells me if they want to sell their house, whatever, fine, no problem. But I do zero marketing around uh, real estate. 100% of my marketing is around building the Nolly team and mentorship mastery. That's all I'm focused on. But still, you know, obviously I've got, you know, friends and people that are out there. So, uh, you know, you, you definitely want to focus on production. But then when it comes to attraction, some of you guys are here just to attract. And that's cool. That's me. Okay, that's my thing. I like to teach, coach, and train. You got you to gotta put it in your um, reticular activator, put it in your mind that um, recruiting is not bad. You know, a lot of, oh, you guys just want to recruit. And, <laughs> you know, isn't that what the Army does? See, here's the thing. Not everybody, um, you know, EXP is not, this, this is not for everyone, okay? And we shouldn't expect, now I believe that, you know, everybody that I've talked to there's only one person that I ever talked to that I actually talked out. Actually, there's two that I talked out of joining EXP. Um, but everybody else, when I, look, when I listened to what they had to say, it just made sense that they should be here. But they may not see that. And if they're happy where they are, like I was, I was very happy where I was, that's fine. Okay. But you should still have it in your mind that you want to share this opportunity with people. Okay. For me, the easiest way that I've found to share it is number one, write this down, create curiosity. Create curiosity. You guys have the easiest way to create curiosity of anybody that I know of uh, here at the company because I put out a YouTube video about every day, <laughs> just about every day. And you guys should be in tune. You should be knowing what stuff I'm dropping on YouTube and it's just so easy. All you got to do is take one of my YouTube videos that you like, you resonate with, and just post it up on Facebook. Hey, guys, this is my coach. And check out what he just said about this. I like, you know, I'm so happy to be part of this coaching group where I get free coaching from best-selling author Nolly Williams every single week. And they're like, well, how do you get that? All you did was create curiosity. That's it. You create curiosity. Um, I remember one time I was at, I was, uh, this guy was telling me that I need coaching and I was at a, a seminar and it was Mike Ferry uh, thing. And um, they were talking all about that, you know, the, the, the one-on-one -on -one coaching a thousand a month and all that. And I, and I made the argument that I didn't need to be coached. I don't need a coach. You know, I'm already, cause I get up like I, nobody has to tell me to get up and get to it. You know, I don't need a kick in the ass. I don't need none of that. I get in and I get to it. Now, sometimes I need a little fire. That's where Artemis comes in. He puts a little flame under me, you know, to get, get me moving a little, little hotter. But I, I'm, I'm, on my, I'm on my business every day. I'm an entrepreneur. That's, what I, that's how I was. That's just, that's just in me. That's just how I am. But most people need um, accountability, okay? Most people will fail without accountability. Listen to this. 80% of businesses in the United States of America fail. 80%. Okay. Now, at the same time, what percentages of, of what percentage of franchises succeed? Franchises, you know, like a Chick-fil-A, what percentage of franchises succeed? 80%. Okay. So even though 20% of businesses succeed, just mom and pops, 80% of franchises succeed. Okay. So why is that? Why is it that 80, why is it that 80% of regular businesses fail? while only 20% of franchises fail. It's because of several things, okay? When you look at the eight pillars that I teach, right? You know, you know all eight of them, okay? It starts with mindset, then activities, people, systems, tools, money, accountability, and training. Those are the eight pillars that I teach. Now, if you look at those pillars, you'll see that a franchise has accountability, extreme accountability. I guarantee you, I don't care what you guys tell me, I guarantee you, if Uncle Nolly spent two weeks in your home, you know, where I just, 
you, you put up a spare bedroom for me, okay? A cot, whatever it is, and I'm in your business, you will succeed. You can't fail, okay? But by yourself, you might fail. Why? Because you don't have extreme accountability. If, if, I, if I had a Chick-fil-A, I guarantee you, if I'm not making my numbers, I'm gonna start getting some phone calls. And if then I'm not making my numbers, you know what I'm gonna get? A visit. Somebody's gonna be over my shoulder like, man, what's going on here? Why is this restaurant failing? And you know what? They might even send somebody out to spend a week in my restaurant to notice what's going on and fix the problem. I might be the problem actually, <laughs> you know? But if the problem will be fixed because they don't wanna have any failure, right? So a lot of you guys are, are missing the accountability piece which is why I created Accountability Partners right here at eXp. Every single one of you has access to your own exclusive accountability partner. That all you gotta do is partner up with them, you use the accountability sheet that I created for you, and you hold each other accountable. So I do digress, but the point is, um, I was at this, <laughs> sorry, that's my timer. That's my lead gen timer, y'all, because I started lead gen a little bit late today. Um, so I was at this thing and I was like, man, I, I just don't need uh, a, a coach. I don't need one. And so finally, you know what the guy told me? He says, you know what? He said, you probably don't need, coaching is probably not for you, you know? And then he started talking to everybody else. And I was like, what do you mean coaching ain't for me, fool? I want to coach. <laughs> so he just used that reverse psychology. So I've told people before, I say, you know what? Our group is probably not for you. You know, it's not for everybody. You know, we've got a lot of people here succeeding, but it's probably not for you. I've actually told people that. And then they're like, what do you mean it's not for me? Then they start looking into it, you know. So all you want to do, that's the whole key, if I could get one thing across to you, is just create curiosity. Whether you throw out a video, whether you, whatever it is, um, you know, if you have a new closing, uh, you got a, a listing, um, like, like um, I think it was Melanie that got a listing and, and, and she got it in five, five days, went under contract. Um, she listed it. She, uh, she, it's, it's her first listing at EXP, baby. And so she put it up on social media. Hey, my first listing at EXP, you know, what's up? Sold in five days. It just creates curiosity. Because some people think that, oh, you got to have a major brand, so, so called. Why? Because we've been brainwashed, okay, by the powers that be. They want to they keep us down. Okay, I was talking to an agent just the other day. They said, um, we need to talk to the owners at EXP. I said, I'm the owner of EXP. So are you. <laughs> we don't, at EXP, we don't have owners. You know, I'm the owner. I'm, the agents are the owners. What's up? I'm the owner. What you need? Huh? <laughs> don't let me, don't, don't make me go gangster with you now. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, Aaron, Aaron, you know I can flip, on, flip it to that, right? <laughs> So, so but, he, but here's the thing, guys, um, just create curiosity. I, I don't know how a better way to say it. Create curiosity. Once they're curious, you have them watch the video. Okay, this, this is it. Most of you guys, when you're doing attraction, you're doing it wrong. You're trying to explain EXP to people, and you, it's hard to explain the EXP. It's just, it's just uh, one person, um, I got a, a text, and uh, it came in. It was from Robert Duran in, in our group. Robert is actually a pharmacist. He's a full-time pharmacist, so he can't make many of our meetups. He's working his way into being a full-time, you know, mentorship master, but he's a full-time pharmacist, and he's out there, you know, spreading the word, recruiting and stuff. And so his, the, the lady that he shared the video, he created curiosity. You know, she came in for a prescription. She, he happened to realize that she was a realtor. He created a little curiosity. Hey, have you heard of uh, Mentorship Masters with best-selling author Nolly Williams? No, I don't know about that. Well, it's a free coaching group. Don't you have a coach? No, I don't have a coach. Oh, well, how do I get it? Oh, well, it's not, there's nothing to it. Let me, let me, I tell you what, let me send you a video. He sent her the video. She watched the video. You know what her response to him was? This is too good to be true. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's too good to be true. It can't, it just can't be, there can't be a company like this. So then he had me get on the phone with her. I'm the closer. Okay. So, or you have somebody that, that is in your, what we call upline, yeah, we use that terminology, um, that will help close them, okay? Or help at least answer their questions. When I get on a, a call with a person, I just wanna know, what did you like best about the opportunity? Like, what did you like most about what you heard? Mm -hmm. And then let them tell me everything that they like. 
Well, then I, then my second question is, well, what questions, what particular questions can I help you with or answer for you? What, you know, you know, I get to know them a little bit and just answer their questions. That's it. Okay. And if they don't see the opportunity, they, they just don't see it. It's not, here's the thing. You got to realize you saw it. I saw it, but not everybody sees it. Okay. It's just that simple. So, um, uh, Aaron says, yeah, the, the, the takeaway, the good old takeaway. Yeah. It's like, nah, this ain't for you. Uh, you know, I, and then you start walking away. Wait, 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 wait. You know, that's the takeaway. That, that's an old, that's an old sales script, boy. That's from way back in the day. The OGs of sales, we know all those, all those strategies. So, um, so that really what I want you, you to, um, to get across to you is it, attraction is really a lot easier than you think. Okay, it's about creating curiosity, uh, getting them to watch the video, and then answering their question. That's it. Now, there's a 10-minute video about EXP that I'm excited about. Uh, Aaron Jackson found it yesterday. Um, he, <laughs> I don't know, he found it. He, he just like combs through stuff and finds things. And so we went ahead and got a copy of it. Um, and it's going to be debuting on YouTube tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a 10-minute video. And also, when you go to your mentorship master's um, uh, uh, workplace, when you go to the workplace group, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on there at 8.15 tomorrow morning. And that's an excellent video to share because it's only 10 minutes. You know, a lot of agents don't want to watch a 30-minute video. Um, what Brent Gold says is that you, you, you schedule a time and that you sit down with the person and you actually watch the video with them. You know, pr that's called proctored. Um, I want to share with you something else, and then I'm going to get to y'all's questions around attraction. So, e so, so e EXP is easy enough to share to by itself, but the fact that you have mentorship masters makes it an absolute no-brainer to recruit to this. I mean, it's just like a no-brainer. They get all my tools, all the training. By the way, did you guys know that... Um, you may not know this. So I just this week lift, it used to be that in order to get my complete toolkit, you had to be at mentorship masters at least 90 days, or you had to close your first deal. Well, now it's just unlocked. Okay. We just said, skip it. Cause it was too much to keep track of who's closing what you guys closed over 30 deals last month. Congratulations. Over 30 deals. Uh, you guys closed. So we're doing production. We're making it happen. But now you can get my complete toolkit. Um, you can just go in there right into the, the portal uh, and you still get the, the, the support, the client support behind it. Um, so you get that completely unlocked, uh, absolutely free. So people that you're bringing on, they get all this stuff. So it's a lot easier. Now, what I want to show you is Brent Gove Resources. If you go to BrentGoveResources.com, this is a great place for you uh, to be able to um, get some of the best agent attraction stuff from Brent Go. By the way, um, I just, well, I'll share that in a minute. So just go to this tab over here. There's a lot of stuff in here, so just, just geek out on it, enjoy it. But there's an agent attraction tab where uh, Brent puts a ton of stuff here. How to build your organization, different videos, 90 minute training, 30 minute training. Um, by the way, Rob Flick, uh, he built, he single-handedly built all of the uh, the uh, west side of uh, Keller Williams. Uh, he built up, I don't know how many states of Keller Williams. Uh, he was the one that actually built Keller Williams in the early days. Same thing with Gene Frederick, both two of those. And of course, they're now here at EXP, just like everybody else is coming over. Um, but there's tons and tons of great stuff here for you to uh, just just to to enjoy learning how to become better at doing uh, agent attraction. So um, with that, I want to get into some questions that you guys have around attraction or any, anything that you're, any issues that you're having around it. Um, just throw them in the chat or just unmute yourself. Uh, okay, someone says, I have my first listing with eXp coming soon. New construction, working with the builder. Uh, in Canyon Lake. Sweet. All right. Foundation is being poured today. Nice. And that just says it's from owner. So I don't know who, who put that in. So, um, 
type in your name and I'll know who you are there who, who said that. Um, yeah, Heather Green says education events with an awesome attraction presentation at the end seems to work well, it seems. Um, I went to a local EXP program about building your referral network. Uh, Tom, Tom Thong uh, did a presentation at the end, which resulted in five new agents at EXP. Yeah, you can do those. So those are, th that's what we call uh, lunch and learns. So, uh, um, and by the way, when you go to Brent's website, he's got the uh, script and the outline of a lunch and learn. You know, a lunch and learn should be about one hour in length. And when you're doing a lunch and learn, all you're doing is you're uh, talking for about five minutes at the beginning, five, 10 minutes. Then you're, you play a video. This is a way to do it. You know, unless you're okay with speaking, uh, you just play like the Brent Gold video, 30 minutes or 20 minute video. And then you just answer questions. That's it. And you serve sandwiches and water. <laughs> you know, you can serve chips too if you want, but uh, Brent says just uh, sandwiches and water. That's Melinda. Okay, Melinda, thank you. Thank you. That's cool. Congratulations on your first uh, listing. Woo, I love it. All right, Melinda. Good for you. Good for you. Um, well, yeah, she's not sure why her name's not. Sure. So let me, let me give you guys some, this, I forgot to do this last time. So when you're in, when you're in Zoom, you'll notice that in the, uh, there's a toolbar and at the very uh, bottom of the toolbar, you'll see what looks like a microphone. Um, and when you, right now it's muted, there'll be a, a, a red line across it. When you click on that, you'll unmute yourself. Then you can talk and I can hear you. Same thing with video. If you want yourself to be seen, uh, you can click on the video and um, just like I'm clicking on it right now, now you can't see me. Uh, and then when I click on it again, now you can see me, okay? So, and then there's a place where you can put in your uh, name, but that's usually when you first log in. You can put in your name of, uh, you know, how you want your name to appear on the screen. Um, I don't know that you can do it after the fact, but, um, yeah, so so that's uh, okay. So I thought uh, I'd just share that. So let me see. Uh, does anybody else have any particular uh, hiccups or any questions around attraction? Because um, I've got so. Oh, by the way, while you're thinking of your question, let me show you one other thing that's going to help you. Um, if you go to back to the portal, you'll notice there's a tab here called. Dun, 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 dun. Agent attraction. Whoa, F go figure. So there's a, a, a whole tab called agent attraction. Let me walk you through this real quick so you know what, what's here. Um, I have a video called Attraction Secrets, okay? And it's kind of what I'm sharing with you right now, but a little bit, maybe a little bit more. I've got a particular script um, that I like to use. Uh, hey, it was great seeing you today at Star Title. Hey, I thought I'd share with you about Mentorship Masters, a program where agents get mentoring and coaching for free. This opportunity may not be for you because I know you're happy where you are, but I was wondering who you know that would benefit from having mentorship and coaching to achieve their highest goals. Would you do me a favor and watch this webinar so you can uh, understand more and let me know if you run across any agents that, I might, that might be interested? Um, I've got a guy right now, uh, this is a true story, I've got a guy right now um, who is, is at Compass, okay? He decided not to join EXP, um, but if he did, he would be joining under us, so he, he might be coming, but he's already sent us three people that are upcoming masters. Uh, he's already, he's recruiting for me, and he's at a different company, because I used a script like this, and I said, hey, I know this isn't for you, but if you know anybody, he's like, yeah, I do know a few people. It's not for me right now, but I know a couple people. Yeah, that's a great script. So that's, um, I, I share that with you. I've got uh, attraction videos. What are, what are some of the favorite videos that I like to use to attract people? Um, I've got those right there. Actually, I need to add a couple of them. Um, then I have uh, this agent attraction video, which I think is really, really good. Uh, $60,000 a month in a two year period. How did this guy, how did Curtis Johnson, now Curtis Johnson, by the way, um, he, so there's Kevin Kaufman sponsored me and then Curtis Johnson sponsored him. So Curtis Johnson is in our upline. Okay. Um, and he is uh, making $60,000 a month, his second year at EXP, you know, after two years of being at EXP, he's got over 1600 agents in his organization. And by the way, he personally only attracted 
about 39 agents. Okay, about half. He, he attracted about half as many as I've attracted in 13 months. He's attracted in two years, yet he's already making 60,000 a month. So because the thing grows, guys, it, 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 you know, it just, it, it gets, it grows on its own. So uh, I've got that video out there. I've got um, uh, the top strategies to attract uh, uh, agents, okay? And this is Connor Steinbrook, really, really, really good video, how he, how he attracted 200 agents in his first two years. And um, then I've got a video that I just shot recently helping you on how to onboard your level ones, okay? So I've got a lot of resources for you there on agent attraction as well. So let me see if you guys have any questions. Um, uh, do y'all have any questions for me about agent attraction? Or do you guys have this figured out? Okay. Y'all got it figured out. Because I've only seen, let me put it like this. And it's not because I'm Nolly Williams. I do have an eye and a focus. We have 60, we have 90 members in our group, 92 members in our group. And um, so each one reach one means that we should have added another 90, okay? So this, this I've added, let me see, this, the past 30 days I added 12, 13, I've added 13 um, in, the, in the, no, no, I've added 13 since the beginning of the year, okay? And you guys have added eight, okay? So all 90 people have added eight people, okay? Uh, out of 90 of y'all, you've added eight. And me, I've added 13. One person added 13, 90 people added eight. So that to me tells me we got, we got some work to do. So either you guys don't wanna attract or you got questions around attracting or you got some, maybe even some hangups around it, you know? Cause I, and, and I'm here to address any, any questions y'all have, like I just don't like to attract or I think it's, it's, it's some people, I used to have this idea that Attraction was kind of like slimy, like, oh, I'm trying to attract, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what Jesus did. He wasn't just sitting around trying to preach the gospel on his own. He was like, hey, what's up, fool? You want to come? No, he didn't do it like that, but almost, because he went to Peter. He was like, man, look, look, Peter, you following me. I, that's gangster to me. How would you like to attract like that? Look, fool, you, you come into mentorship. You come into EXP. What? I didn't say. Do, do, do I have a say in it? I mean, he just went up to people and says, follow me. He said, man, I'm eating at your house tonight. He looked at Nicodemus. He said, we're having dinner at your house tonight. Like, man, I didn't even invite you to dinner. You know, that's how Jesus did it. So attract, look, attraction is a good thing, guys. People need to be here because I guarantee you here is a lot better than where they are. Okay, I guarantee you. Now, some people might have it really, really good. We leave those people alone. They're good. They're, they're good. You know, uh, Jesus said, you know, he said, my, my, my message ain't for everybody. Not everybody needs, needs not every, it's for the sick. It's not for everybody, right? And so there's people out there, though, that need to be here. And um, I know for a fact you guys can, can uh, bring in more than what you're doing. Uh, Tracy says she's got a person uh, that is interested. Um, now, now, here's the thing, guys. Um, I had one person, I'll get to you in a minute, Tracy. I had one of our masters that's been trying to, trying to recruit the same two people for like three months. I'm like, dude, move on. That's like, that's like my day. I, I was, two people, that, that's like, you know, because I, I, what I do and what I recommend, you don't even have to call them. You can just uh, hit, hit up five, make a list of all the agents that you know or know of, and then just PM them with, my, with the script that I give you right there in the portal and uh, just say, hey, we did, you know how, l let me show you, let me, let me, let me share this with you. Brent Gove, anybody y'all know Brent Gove? You know Brent Gove, okay. So Brent Gove has 7,000 agents in his organization. Let me say it again, 7,000, okay, 7,000. Now, in his organization, who recruited Brent Gove? Y'all know that? Who recruited, recruited Brent Gove? How'd you like to be the person that recruited Brent Gove to EXP and have 7,000 paycheck, potential paychecks coming at you, you know? Now, the person that, let me see if anybody, yeah, so it was, so the person that recruited uh, Brent Gove was a, a gal named Sheila Fairjohn, okay? Now, how long did Brent know Sheila before he recruited her? 
Anybody know that answer? Anybody? No, y'all don't know? Okay, so they knew each other for about 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, true story. Sheila met Brent at an event and at the elevator, okay, after the event was over, at the elevator, she stopped him and they had a 20 second conversation, 20 to 30 seconds about the event. So when she called Brent Gold, she said, hey Brent, this is Sheila Fairjohn. You met me two years ago, okay, two years ago at an event and I talked to you outside the elevator for about 30 seconds. Do you remember me? And what was Brent's reply? No, I'm sorry, I don't remember you, I, I'm sorry. She says, well, it doesn't matter if you remember me, but I gotta tell you, have you heard about EXP, this exciting new, he was like, mm, not really, I've heard a few things, but nah, not really. Well, look, you've got to see this opportunity. And uh, Brent's business partner was like, no man, don't, don't, don't do it. And uh, Brent was like, okay, I'll check it out. He checked it out, he joined under her, and he brought on 7,000 agents. Okay, now he didn't bring on 7,000. He himself brought on about a, a little over 100, okay? But the, his organization is now 7,000. So you're like, well, I don't know any agents. I don't know, look, it doesn't matter. If you met him for 20 seconds at a title company, or you met him at an open house or a caravan three years ago, or you did a deal with them five years ago, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter, you can reach out to him. Okay, so Tracy says, um, She's got one person that's interested, but just now starting to work and put myself out there. Okay, cool. Some of you guys are, are, are holding back, now thinking that maybe I don't do enough production to really, for people to even listen to me. Well, I can guarantee you, Brent Gold didn't know how much production Sheila was doing. He just looked at the opportunity. She could have sold one house every three years for all he knew. He totally didn't know what her production was. Doesn't matter. Uh, those are just excuses that we, that we argue for uh, uh, you know, for, for, for not reaching the, the heights that God has for us. Uh, what, how do you deal with the perception that EXP is a pyramid scheme or is just about attracting agents, especially given some of the negative videos on YouTube? So that's a great question. So EXP is a real estate company, just like any other real estate company. Okay. But EXP, and this is what I explain to people, EXP has taken the multi-level marketing compensation model and applied it to how we pay our agents okay so that gives it the connotation that it's a mlm or multi-level marketing company but really there's nothing wrong with a multi-level marketing company if if you many of the top companies in the world are mlms and like i i use look at this right here young living essential oil okay i use it every day i don't sell young living but i happen to be uh, I, I like the product, so I, I use it. So some of the best companies in the world are MLMs. So that, that's just a conception that people have, um, but, but EXP is not an MLM. It's a real estate company that uses a compensation model that is from the MLM industry, exactly like Keller Williams does. Same exact, the, 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 what we use, the exact algorithm and model that we use is identical to Keller Williams, identical, except we pay on revenue while they pay on profit, okay? If the profit is a dollar this month, that's what we split amongst everybody. E, uh, EXP doesn't play that game, we pay off the top. So that's, that's just, um, you know, if, if somebody wants to continue in that perception and, and let that be their hang up, that's fine. You know, EXP is gonna grow with or without, right? EXP is growing to about 400,000 agents. So the train is moving, guys. So you're either gonna get on the train right now or you're going to get on later when you wish you'd have got on before. So that, that's, that's pretty easy. Um, I, I, I come across that all the time. And it's like, look, it doesn't, if, if you, Heather, if you have, if you're getting that question, here's where I want you to go. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. You want to go straight to this video right here. Uh, just, just to help you with that. It's called the uh, Gene Frederick napkin video. Okay. This will totally decimate that argument. Um, go to, go to brentgoldresources.com, click on the Gene, the legend Gene Frederick, the, the napkin video, and it obliterates that, that multi-level marketing because every single real estate company is an MLM in terms of how they pay. It's just that we pay the agents, they pay 
you know, the franchise, the broker, it goes like to, they pay the broker and then they pay regional owner and then they pay, you know, uh, corporate and then, you know, international. So all the money goes up. If you're a Caldwell Banker Century 21, the money's going upstream either way. It's just not going into your pocket. So um, uh, Aaron says, did you say to do attraction only on Saturdays or do you, did I hear it wrong? So what I do, for those of you that are doing production, and by the way, those that say uh, uh, EXP is not in production, <laughs> that, that's just like when they used to say we had a penny stock, okay? Uh, that, 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 let, me, let me put it to you like this. There's 5%, I'm gonna give you the, the truth here. 95% of EXP agents have less than five people in their downline, okay? Let me say it again. 95% of the agents at EXP have less than five that they've actually recruited here. That means that 95% of EXP agents are focused on production, okay? 5% of us, people like me, are focused on attraction. But it, we give the perception that it's about the attraction because we talk very loud. Okay, the 5% of us are very loud. And so, so it's, 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 um, it's a misconception. Um, and all these misconceptions that you think you're dealing with now are going bye-bye. Because what, we just had a group of 900, a brokerage with 900 agents, 900 that joined EXP two days ago. Okay, so all this kind of crap that they're coming up with and, and, and trying to spoon feed the agents in their team meetings and stuff, that's just garbage. That's going to be, those, those, those things are no longer going to be impediments to you, but guess what? It's going to make a level playing field for anybody to attract and you don't want to miss the boat. You want to get in on it now. So even if somebody's like, Hey, Heather, I heard this. You say, well, that's not true. Here's the truth about it. Watch this video. And even if they don't join you now, later on, when they think in EXP, they think, Oh yeah, Heather was talking to me about this because they're coming guys. They're coming sooner or later. It might be six months from now, a year from now, it doesn't matter. All right, so, um, so what I said, Aaron, is Fridays, if you're, if you're in production and that's your main bread and butter, then on Fridays you take those two hours that you're doing lead generation from nine to 11 and you just do agent attraction. And that might be uh, what Brent Gove did was he, he just picked up the phone and called people. Um, he didn't make it to the G's in his phone book before he had his 40 people in place. Okay. But you can actually just text that text message out to 10 people every Friday. Okay. Um, something as simple as that. Uh, let me see. Uh, Shandalyn says she can't get to the mentorship masters. You guys should have already gotten a, an email. Um, Patty Lynn will help you or Chris will help you with that. Shandalyn. Um, I'm not sure what you're keying in. That's uh, not getting you there, but you guys should, if you're, if you're in mentorship masters, you've already gotten, um, all you got to do is go to the quick start. Let me just show you that real quick. Um, let me share my screen. Uh, you should have already gotten the Chandelin in your email, but I know there's a tons of emails in there. Um, if you go to mentorshipmastersgroup.com slash login. Now, if you don't have, if you haven't set that up yet, then you, you don't have an account yet. You've got to create an account. So you want to go to, to the mentorshipmastersgroup.com slash quick start and then that's that's where you'll have the instructions on what you're going to be doing for your first 30 days okay this is your first 30 days at exp um, and the first thing it has is to create your exclusive portal account you click here it's going to take you to a page where you can create your uh, mentorship masters portal account of course i've already got one so it's just i'm already logged in but um, so you want to go to the quick start guide which is at mentorshipmastersgroup.com slash quick start. Okay. So that, that, that's uh, the question that um, if, if those of you that, that haven't logged in the portal or haven't created your account, now you've got to use your exprealty.com email address or you will not have access to the training. It, it, it'll lock you out. Um, but all that's explained there. Uh, Marcia, Marcia is saying, um, uh, just going to do what you told me to do uh, with the videos now and sit back and watch the results come in. There you go. Uh, I tried to recruit two other people uh, I worked with before, but I, I wasn't uh, convincing enough to get them. Yeah. Yeah. You, when you try to do it, even me, I think, oh, I'm Nolly Williams. Man, people in my circle, they don't listen to me. 
<laughs> they're just like, oh, that's Nally. You know, they, they, they take me for granted, right? So, and I do the same thing with my coach. Like with Artemis, I'm like, oh, that's Artemis. He, you know, he, he just, so, so that's what we do with our coaches. So um, even, you know, again, just send them the video, let them watch it. Um, and then let, let that do the heavy lifting for you. Um, okay. Yeah, so, so Aaron Jackson is given kind of the, the um, uh, explanation of a pyramid scheme. W what you guys have to realize, I mean, is, a, you know, when it comes to, let me make sure I'm not, okay. Uh, when it comes to EXP, um, <laughs> it, it, it's almost ridiculous, but I, I got to say it. So EXP is a publicly traded company, okay? That means we're, we're subject to the SEC, okay? Of the hundreds of thousands of companies that wanted to be uplisted to NASDAQ last year, of the hundreds of thousands that would like to be at NASDAQ last year, 500 were picked, okay? Let me say it again. Of the hundreds of thousands that wanted to be there at NASDAQ, 500 were picked. EXP is one of them, okay? Now, to be picked, you've got to go through the scrutiny of the Securities and Exchange Commission. That's the SEC, okay? You don't want to deal with those attorneys. I've got a guy right now that I've personally invested 25000 into his company that is, about a year and a half ago, is still dealing with the SEC to get this particular product to market, okay? You don't want to deal with them. We have already passed the SEC test. Our, 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 um, at at uh, EXP, our accountants are Deloitte and Touche. Okay. They are the most prominent accountants in the world. Okay. Arguably the most prominent accountants in the world. Guys, our books are open. We're a publicly traded company. Anybody can see our books. So you cannot run a pyramid scheme when you have a, 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 uh, a NASDAQ SEC regulated De Deloitte and Touche, uh, 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 you know, accounted, accounted company. <laughs> It's just, it's just ridiculous. It just, it's, just, it's just nonsensical. But these are the kinds of things that they're being told by their rogue brokers, uh, Keller Williams team leaders, and other people that are just, they don't know what else to say. You know, I, I had a guy uh, that came to me. He's a, a, a good dear friend of mine. Uh, he was the broker, he was the team leader in Kauai, Hawaii. And I, I hit him up. I was like, man, I'm with EXP, dude. What's up? You, you coming up? He was like, oh, Nolly, not EXP. And so he sends me this long email about um, this, this guy that, uh, that, that, was at e, that was at EXP and left. Okay. Well, I got news for you. Four of our mentorship masters were previously at EXP and left. And then they came back to EXP. So it, it's just like this. There's always going to be somebody, and by the way, there's some bad brokers out there. I got to say this, at EXP, we got some bad, not a lot, but we got some bad ones. Anytime you buy a bag of apples, you're going to get a few bad ones. Not every time, but you're going to probably get a few bad ones. So we have over 600 plus employees full-time. Let me say it again. At EXP, we have over 600 plus full-time employees. Do you think there's a couple bad ones in there? <laughs> you betcha but we're going to weed them out, guys. We're going to get rid of them. So in some cities, I got to tell you, there's some bad, I've heard the rumors. There's some, just some bad, you know, uh, uh, brokers and stuff like that. Not very many, but there's some bad ones out there. Uh, it's going to happen, but it's just like going to your favorite restaurant. Have you ever gone to your favorite restaurant? And then somebody that you talk to, you like, man, they, they're like, man, that restaurant was terrible. You're like, what? Then you go on Yelp and you're looking at the reviews and, 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 they're, and, and it's everybody's all five-star reviews, but they every now and then they got a one-star review. Have you ever seen that? Let me show you what I'm talking about. And it, this, is, this is what the other brokerages are doing with eXp. It's very important for you guys to understand this. And I know we're a little bit over time. I'm going to wrap it up in about five minutes, I promise. But let's say, for example, um, let's say, for example, I go in and I say best restaurants in Austin. Okay. This is very important, guys. You got to understand this. This is what people are doing about eXp. So best restaurants in Austin. Now, how many of y'all would agree with me that if I see this restaurant, uh, like the Odd Duck, it's 4.6 stars with 1,885 reviews, okay? Or Home Slice Pizza, 
4.7 with 6,400 reviews, okay, that, you know, that's probably going to be a pretty good place to eat, right? I mean, it's got 4.7 stars out of five. It's probably going to be pretty good. But watch this. I can go in here and say, you know what? I just want to see the lowest reviews, okay? Now, look, they got some one-star reviews. Ooh. So, uh, look, left starving. Look at that. Now, overall, look at this. It's 4.6 out of 5, so it's probably not a bad place to eat. But I'm going to tell you what these guys are doing. People like uh, my buddy over there at Keller Williams, this is what he did. They find the one or two people that were dissatisfied with the experience at EXP because they're, they're, they're going to be out there. Just like when I was at Remax, people were going to Keller Williams left and right, and then they were going back to Remax. It happens, part of the industry. So what they do is they find all the one-star reviews, and then they put them together, and then they say, hey, this is what people are saying about uh, the odd duck. This is what people are saying about that restaurant. Now, let me ask you a question. If they've got 4.6 stars out of five, and all I'm doing is collecting all the bad reviews, is that a fair assessment of that restaurant? Think about it. Absolutely not. But that's what people are doing when they're putting this stuff out on YouTube, and that's why you've got to look at the multiplication of it. We've got 27,000 agents here at EXP growing every single, we just grew by 900 <laughs> a couple of days ago. So we, we're growing by leaps and bounds. And so the only thing the competition can do is sling mud because they got nothing else. They got nothing else. It's the best model in the game. So if you got nothing else, all you can do is sling mud. So you're going to get that, guys. If, it doesn't matter how good the restaurant is. There's going to be people that have a crappy experience. And, and the reality is if a person writes a one-star review and you really look at it, it probably wasn't the food. It was not the food. It was how they were treated. It was their, their, it was their experience with the company, okay? Um, we've got a master that just joined not too long ago, and she had a terrible experience with onboarding. How many of y'all had a bad experience with onboarding? Now, raise your hand. So, so, so but that does not, it, it doesn't mean that, um, anyway, that, that, that you guys understand what I'm saying. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Let me see. Ivan's here. What's up, Ivan? Um, see if there's any last questions and we're going to shut it down. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, Chandelin was helped. Patty Lynn's helping Chandelin to get on online. So guys, I just wanted to tell you, I just want to motivate you that um, uh, bringing people over, don't, don't worry about what you're hearing. Uh, people are saying this and that. That's what people do. Um, I, I will, I, I guarantee you, anybody that you come across I'm gonna just put it out there as an open invitation. I don't care if it's a team leader, broker, owner, does not matter. I'm more than willing to have a Zoom call with that person. If they feel that there's a, a better model on the planet, just, to, just tell them, look. And, and by the way, they're not gonna really wanna do this, but if they do, it's great. Um, just say, my mentor, Nolly Williams, he's a best-selling author, and we always like to know about the, anything that's going on in real estate. So if you feel like you have a better model, Okay, that's in all 50 states going worldwide. Okay, that's my caveat because 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 I reach people everywhere. It's all all 50 states and going toward being worldwide, and it's a better model than what we have at EXP for the agents. Let's do a Zoom call. Let's record it and let's 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 talk about it because uh, I will put EXP up against any company and talk to anybody on any stage in any forum on any Zoom on any anything live. It's got to be live, guys because I don't want to know this editing crap. It's got to be live. And if they really feel like they, like, like, like whatever they're saying, then, then, then let's go on record. Let's talk about it. Let's have an open and honest discussion. Most of them won't. There's a guy named, I'm going to end with this. There's a guy named Lee Strobel. And he came out, he was like, man, I think he worked for the Chicago Tribune or one of the big newspapers. And he said, and all his, all his people were saying, man, Christ never existed. That's fake. It's no, it's not real. So that's what Lee would say. He said, man, that's, that's stupid. That's dumb. They, they, they do this over there. They do that. That's what Lee would say. So one day a guy challenged him. He said, have you ever looked into it? He said, why would I look into it? I already know it's fake. He said, but have you looked into it? He said, man, he said, if you were to investigate it for yourself, you could squash the whole, uh, what they call Christianity. You could squash that just like that. So what Lee, Lee Strobel did 
was he, he took up the challenge. He said, man, I don't believe in this, so I'm going to prove that it's wrong. So he spent, I don't know how long, trying to prove that it was wrong. And you know what happened. You've probably seen the movie. You know what happened. He ended up, and, and if people would do the due diligence, okay, if they would do the due diligence, like I did, I set out to prove that EXP wasn't the real deal because my, my sponsor was like, man, EXP, I was like, man, that's, I've already heard about EXP. When I looked into it, I had no choice but to join. <laughs> no choice. So that's it for, for today, guys. Um, I just want to encourage you, uh, get out there. I see your comments. Thank you so much. Um, get out there and uh, get more people over here. Each one, reach one. Agent Attraction, baby. We're going to be doing this once a month. We're going to do um, something around Agent Attraction where you guys can bring to me the things that you're struggling with, or what, what, what you're dealing with, and I'll help you to, uh, to, to overcome the objections. Love you, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Adios.